Hi everyone, I got a question from someone who's asking me how to make a Santa hat. So to do that we're going to start by mesh circle. Let me zoom in. And we go to edit mode. First of all command we're going to use is we're going to press E S to enlarge it a little bit. And we're going to lift it in Z direction, so we press E Z. And I'm going to position somewhere over here and we're going to shrink it back to the center by pressing E S again the same as underneath okay now we press 3 sorry we zoom in like it should look nice we press 3 and we start by adding in Z not in Z but we're going to lift it up so we press only E this way and we lift it up looking something like that we bring it a little more to the right. We're going to press R to rotate. And we rotate until this point is approximately in the neighborhood of the other point. And we're going to press S to shrink it. So we make it smaller. We're going to reposition it a little bit to the right. To press S again, like that. First is done. Secondly, second point, we press E again. We're going to position it let's say somewhere over here that point should be approximately in the center going to press r to rotate s to shrink r to rotate I'm going to bring it a little lower uh, a little more to the right see a little around the point could be a little to the right it's not that important do the same again e somewhere over here shrink Rotate, shrink, bring down, shrink, and rotate a little bit like that. Now we press E again, shrink, rotate. Look, this to maximum normally should be around 90 degrees. Around 90. It's not that important, but it's good. And it's looking nice. So we're going to do it again. One time more. And we're going to shrink it a lot now. Like this. And this will be where the fluffy ball will be at the end. So rotate that. It should straighten it out and shrink it back again to a minimum. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to separate these three faces from the rest of the head and do that by, sorry, over here, clicking on face selection tool, select that face, hold down the shift alt button and click on the vertical one, rotate it a little bit with the middle mouse key and hold down shift alt button, right click on that one, rotate again with the middle mouse key and zoom in because you can't see it clearly. Hold down shift all button and right click on that one. If you have done that, press P and say OK. Now go back to object mode. Now if we go back and zoom it out, we have part one and part two. OK, first of all, that part, we're going to give it a color. And that should normally be red. Let me choose over here red maximum zero and switch off the shadow okay now we're going to add a modifier which will be the sub division surface where we're going to say three okay now we're going to smooth it a little bit like this okay so this is done. Now we're going to add an extra one and this will be a UV sphere. We're going to shrink it by pressing S and we're going to position it on the end of our head. I'm going to shrink it a little more because I want it to look 
to the equal size of the head looking like this I think yeah, something like that be attention that it is positioned in every direction correctly good yeah. now we're going to smoothen that one and we're going to give that a color also which is in that case white same over here maximum maximum switch off switch off the shadow and the key and we're going to add something extra which is in that case a particle system and the particle system we're going to choose hair of course where we're we going to advanced click on advanced and we're going to normals where we're going to say minus zero zero three and we go over here where we're going to say our brown is zero zero three i think yeah so that should look okay okay and we're going to increase the number let's say fifty thousand like this and we get that fluffy hairball at the end of the Santa Claus his head now we're going to first of all position the camera we're going to switch to camera cursor on the screen lock the camera to view press zero and bring that one up There's not a possibility to do that also, but I'm going to do it in a second. Okay, it should look like this. Cursor on the screen, unlock camera to view, cursor on the screen, zero on the numkey path. Going to select the lamps. Where is it? It's over here. Going to bring it down. We're going to position it next to the camera. Yeah, something says me it should be a little more. All right. Now we're going to add an extra one by holding down the shift button. Let's shift D and we're going to position one through the right of the camera, of course. And we're going to do the same again. And we're going to lift it above the head. So shift D. I'm going to position it above the head like that and I always say head but his hat his head is not shown over here okay now we're going to have a quick look before we and now we're going to do the rest because it's a, there we go a quick look select that one where we're going to smoothen it again same principle we're going to add also a color which in my case will be white same principle over here maximum maximum less switch off shadow and costs and what we have over here is the same principle as the other one go over here to the particular system and we're going to choose new of course what are we going to say the same as on the other one choose hair and of course we're going to switch here through i don't see it for the moment advanced where are we going to say let's say minus zero 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 three brown is yeah. Let's say zero zero three. Okay, and we're going to put in how much? Let's say one hundred fifty thousand, because the surface is much bigger. And we let it calculate. It's not enough. Let's say two hundred fifty thousand, like this. He's calculating. My system is not that quickly, and. 
it takes some time. Okay, this is looking okay. Now, the only thing that's necessary we have to do now is we might going to render it and to do that, pay attention that your output is in the correct directory, switch over here to correct format, in my case it's JPEG, and uh, you press render over here and you let it render. When it's rendered, I come back. It starts rendering, it will take some time. When it's done, I come back. So this is the result of the Santa Claus hat. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and we see each other in another tutorial. Thank you, bye. If you're thinking that is looking too small or too not deep enough, so we're going to add, we're going to select the head itself. Go to Edge Selection Tool, right click on that one. Hold down the Alt Shift button and right click on that one. And you can change by adding this if you want it to look more vertical or you can reposition it like that. You're going to do the same with this one. Hold down the Shift button. Okay, you can say I'm going to lift that one up because I want the head more looking like this. And we're going to move it a little bit aside. You can do whatever you want with it, but this is, sorry, not that one. You can say, I want to select that one, hold down the out shift button. And we're going to lift that up, because I want mine looking more like this or like that. It's, it's whatever you want, you can play around with it as much as you want. The result will be the same. Uh, I approximate, it's not the same, but it will end up uh, looking to be approximately like you saw. Uh, on the video. Uh, I think the same as I made now you cannot do but it will be approximately look the same. Thank you for watching.